guys it's Jess again and I uploaded a video last week um and well I don't know I actually haven't filmed in a couple in about almost a week or so um I've been busy with school since I started college this week um and honestly it's been really busy well this video is gonna be a story time um and this story is about how i got cheated and how i found out i was being cheated by my ex-boyfriend uh, sixth grade and my ex-boyfriend he was an eighth grader uh we would see each other in the hallways but we never really spoke or anything until i was in seventh or eighth grade that i we started talking because back in the day it was a little bit after myspace so it was i started being on facebook and then i guess we got we became friends on facebook and we started talking and so a little bit after a couple of months after we, him and i started talking uh he asked me out i said yeah obviously i wasn't i liked him i can't say i was in love with him but i liked him so i said yeah um a week later after we started dating i wasn't actually allowed to date at that time because i was like 13 14 years old like i was young to have a boyfriend and now i see that and i realize that and honestly i don't know and so then so i said yeah whatever we started dating a week after i became his girlfriend um we hanged out i lied to my parents um so yeah and i told them that i was gonna be with some friends which i was but he was gonna be there and so we went to the park i went to one of my friends house and after that i went to we went to the park that was close to my friend's house and so we met up there and i we got there early and we were there waiting for him until he arrived so at first it was kind of weird because it was like dude we're going out for a week now but it was only online so whatever time went by time went by and we it was about our year into the relationship when i started getting weird messages and like i don't know it was just weird messages and so i'm like what is going on i check and read and read after message after message after message and there's like four girls telling me oh your boyfriend is my boyfriend and this and that so i'm like what is going on so i didn't reply um i didn't ask him anything i was like uh i trust him which clearly i was wrong to trust him and so one day i remember it had been a couple of weeks after that incident so obviously he was in high school like let me say just this. he was two years older than me he was in high school mm -hmm. i knew he probably had a girlfriend for all i know like, he probably was cheating on me right in my face and i was blind to see it and so i we went to different schools he went to a high school i went to middle school i was about to graduate it was like honestly like i don't know it was just so complicated but the thing is is that this girl at my school was telling me that him and her had a thing and that i had to back off i was like 
what is going on like i legit had no idea like what the hell was going on at first i didn't want to believe anything because obviously it's like dude he's with me but then at the same time i have like five other girls telling me oh your boyfriend is my boyfriend like are you serious like what is going on so i decided to investigate and take things into my own hands and so i i was like babe can i have your facebook password and email so i can write something cute on your wall he gave it to me obviously i don't know maybe he was dumb enough or something because the moment he gave me his information like this i was like yes inside job right there boom i hacked his account and i hacked his account and um so i went to his messages right away i went right away and i saw let me tell you every message on facebook that he had were girls every damn message when i saw that oh lord jesus i lost my mind i was pissed off i was like what the hell like what is <sighs> so i went through every message i saw um It had messages with girls telling them, I love you, like, do you want to go out with me, um, I want to see you, I want to meet you, and I was like, dude, like, are you freaking serious? And so I kept going down, 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 down his freaking inbox, and let me tell you, I got to a message of the day he asked me out with this girl and let me tell you what the hell I found you know what I found I found he asked this girl out he's the same day he asked me out at the same freaking time because I had I remember it was already screenshots that was going on and so I screenshotted that message. Our message is when he first asked me out. And so when I did that, I obviously it had the same. So I went and compared the messages. Dude, it looks like he freaking copied and pasted the same message. Like, are you serious, man? Like, oh, I lost my mind. I became freaking Godzilla freaking hog freaking whatever i lost my mind and so i never said anything at first i tried to hide it i tried to see what else i could find and then i the following day i wrote something cute i just put like your girlfriend here or whatever like i wasn't gonna write no freaking paragraph at all and so after that i never told him anything I just stood quiet and a couple of days later I tried to go back into his account and it wouldn't let me so I was like hold up so I told them I messaged him I was like hey like I tried to hack your account or write something cute on your um status but it's telling me that I either have the wrong password or the wrong email and then he was like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot to tell you. I changed my password. Like, okay, why do you need to change it? And then you know what he said? He said, oh, it's because, I don't know, I needed my privacy. Privacy from who? Like, please tell me from who from who okay me I'm your girlfriend okay and so after that 
let me tell you so i let it slide i was like okay i'm gonna find out what else is going on so one day my best friend at the time she was dating this guy from our middle school too and so he comes and messages me like oh hey like why didn't you come with us to the party and i reply with what party and i was never invited he said oh yes you were he said uh we invited your boyfriend we told your boyfriend to bring you and he said oh that you couldn't because you were not allowed to go out to parties so when he said that i was like, hold up he never told me so he never told me to begin with i was never informed that he even went to a party so when i heard that i asked him oh and who was at the party he said i shouldn't be the one telling you maybe you should ask your boyfriend and so i asked him i was like because you're my best friend's boyfriend and because i helped you get with her you're gonna tell me what the hell happened at the party so he ended up telling me that him and his ex-girlfriend ended up making out and they hooked up they ended up leaving the party together and yeah so then i was like are you serious like are you serious and i I was to the point where I was like, you know what, screw it, screw it, I might as well just break up with him, like, not even, but no, you know, I was like, no, I'm gonna find out what's going on, so, one day, I asked for his information again, I hacked into his account, and I saw a message uh, I saw a message, right, and it said, um, I hope you like this picture, or I hope you enjoy what you're seeing, and I clicked on it, and I guess at the time he wasn't online, because I remember we were not talking, he was, he said he was gonna go to sleep or something, something like that, like a nap, or I think it was already at night, I'm not sure, so I went into his account, and when I saw that, I clicked on the message. I was like, he's not going to notice. I read it, obviously. And when I started reading it, oh my God. I, it was, I don't want to seem rude. And I hope this doesn't offend somebody. Because I honestly don't. I have nothing against any person like transgender or anything but the person who he was talking to my ex-boyfriend or my boyfriend at the time it was a transgender and this transgender has been sending pictures of her or him to him to my boyfriend and he apparently they had been talking for a while and for some reason the day that I hacked him previously I never saw anything any of those messages I didn't even see that person's profile or anything and so I clicked um, on the load more pic um, messages and I started seeing a lot more messages that they have been talking about previously. And so I start going up and up. And I'm scared of to what I'm going to see next. And it got to the point where I couldn't handle it because it was that graphic. And obviously I'm not going to mention the type of messages I saw or neither one of the 
parties involved in this video, involved in this situation for their privacy. But honestly, like the type of things I saw, it blew my mind. And so when I confronted my boyfriend or ex-boyfriend about the situation, it is what pissed me off the most. Is what drove me crazy for ye days, for freaking weeks. I asked him, why are you talking to this person? And you want to know what he told me? He said, get ready for what he freaking told me. He said, oh babe, don't worry. I was teaching my friend how to get girls. When he said that. When he said that, I, my head dropped, my heart dropped to my stomach. And I told him, do I look like I am dumb and stupid and I'm going to believe that? And you know what he said? You know what he said? Just guess what he said. He said, yeah. I was like, are you on drugs are you crazy i i lost my mind that day i broke up with him after that i was like i have i don't want nothing to do with you i also confronted that person i messaged that person who he was talking to to see what was going on and that person has sent me previous conversations of them too, where they were sending pictures of each other to each other. And I broke up with them. I, I wasn't devastated because honestly, like, I don't know. It just didn't, I was pissed off more at the fact that he was lying to me. And the fact that he had the guts to say that, I mean, I basically I was dumb enough to believe what he was saying. And we dated for about two, almost like a year and a half, two years. It, it was that long for him to do something like that. But eventually he tried to get me back. He still lied to me. He... He would tell me, oh, I love you, I miss you. But yeah, he was talking to one of my friends. Like, oh my god. He was just, um, he was just, I don't know. I don't even want to say the word, but yeah. Like, honestly, I don't know. It was just honestly messed up. And after him, like, I really had trouble trusting other guys. I don't know but i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah maybe my story was kind of boring but i will see and think about other stories times of my crazy life but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and have a really good day